Hello there, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I'm doing my follow-up Friday, so I'm just going to show you a couple extra cards for the Wisteria Wishes, which are wonderful. And then I have two die sets that I was going to talk to you about on Wednesday, and I forgot. So we have um, people stamping in the background. We have our simple journey today, which is everybody just comes and plays. So we're having lots of fun here in the workshop today. It's full. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll show you these cards real quick. Ta-da! Here we go. Close your eyes if this bothers you. We're going to take a little trip down memory lane. Every once in a while I put my, um, when I put my camera in here, <laughs> it, um, oopsie daisy. Oh my goodness sakes. I put my camera in and then it goes, um, it hits the on and off button. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So now we have it. So remember, this is what I did on, we did this card, and then we did this one, just um, stepped it up a little bit with some ribbon. And then we did these two. So I totally love this set. So this one, they're all cut out except for the words, right? So I wanted to bring in some other colors because here I did all, the, all those colors. So then I did this one here. So on this one, you can see that some are popped up. So I stamped all these, and then I did the cutouts. Um, and so I have one, one grouping of three that are popped up. So it just makes a little difference there. Ta-da. And this color is the new um, Sweet Sorbet. So what I did is, um, for the background, I stamped off on the sweet sorbet and then for the accent stamp that puts on all the little dots I did full strength then I just took one of our brushes and this is um, Tahitian Tide gives you a nice little skyline and I paired this up with garden green this time so there's that one then I did this color so this was really different. So I did both of them this way. Now I wanted this one to look darker and deeper. So it was kind of high lin, So it looked closer to you. So this is the only one I cut out. But this one I stamped the initial flower where it's a set of three um, in um, Cajun Craze. Not Cajun Craze. I'm sorry. Crush Curry. One of those C ones. Crush Curry. And then I uh, stamped it on top with a stamped off... Um, pumpkin pie and so this one I wanted it to look further back so it would be lighter right and this was the hanging one so on this one I stamped it with the um uh petal what is this one I'm sorry my brain is not working pale papaya and then again I stamped off and used the pumpkin pie so that's why I have pale papaya on the base pumpkin pie on the layering ta-da like that so there we go then I, I headed back to the purples, <laughs> but I did purple and blue. So here is this one. And so this one, this is one of the new dies I'm going to show you today. It's a frame and it has a texture to it. You see that little texture on the frame a little bit. So I did two sets. I did three sets of the greenery and then I cut them up and I uh, put them in here. So some of these are popped up. This one is glued down. But I took the Highland Heather and Pacific Point and I just brushed the back so I get that blue and it gradually gets lighter as it goes down. So one of those, ta-da. So on this one, I stamped Highland Heather, then I stamped it with, stamped off, and then did Pacific Point, except this one. See, that one is darker. I forgot to stamp off. Now, if you did that opposite on this one, I did um, stamped off with Pacific Point and then stamped it with Highland Heather. So uh, different look. I liked it a little bit more with the purples versus the blues. That's what I was going for with the blue, but I like the purple under there first. So ta-da! That's what I have for you today. So this is one of those sets that you're going to want because the verses are beautiful. And it's, you can make a pretty impressive card quickly. So there we go. Ta-da. Hi, Lynn. There we go. So that's what I have for you today. And I want to show you these dies. So let me move this. I love this set. Can you tell? <laughs> I had to like 
take it away from myself so I would quit playing with it. We're going to be doing some of those in class. Okay. So this is called Fabulous Frames Dies. This is one that's going to be in the new catalog. And here it is. Ta-da! So here is this frame that I used on this card here. Really fun. And then it has these little corners. So this is one piece, so it'll cut out four at a time. And then this one just says the lines. So really fun. This is a great, uh, a great standalone frame set. And then, ta-da, ta-da, we have this one. It's called Stylish Shapes Dies. Um, we were all, we wanted the squares and we wanted the circles. And so this one has, this is like double too. So then the inside, it cuts with little dots and the outside has little stitches. So when you use these, you're going to get a design on the item that you're cutting out and the item that you cut out of. <laughs> so it's just kind of a fun all around. This is going to be... This is going to end up being favorites for people. One of those sets that you just have to have. So remember, this starts on May 3rd, where you can order from the new catalog. If you need a catalog, let me know. I have some that I have sent out already, and I have some here. So, um, But these are two great die sets that you're going to want in your, in your um, stash here. I'm going to turn the camera around. We'll make this short and sweet so y'all can go out for fish fry. So thank you for joining me. Um, y'all have a great weekend. I am going to play with some of the new things. So on Tuesday, I plan on um, coming back in and picking out one of the sweets that I do and then making a card with it to show you um, some more of that good stuff. So have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Uh, share the video if you like the video. Um, subscribe if you're a YouTube subscriber. And I will see you next week, Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.